Hello, my beautiful friends. This is Shreen Purewal bringing you the latest real estate updates here in Victoria. Subscribe to my channel if you want a daily, weekly update of what's going on because this market is changing by the week. All right, so we're heading into spring and I am seeing supply increase a little bit but it's by no means close to where demand is and where demand is heading, okay? And it, it won't be able to keep up with demand because to build a home, it takes one to two years. And to be honest with you, I was just at the uh, pre-sale project uh, called the, the Tressa. And I love Scott, Scott Monroe there is the one of the sales guy there. And uh, he was telling me, he's saying a lot of realtors are buying into this project. It doesn't complete to 2023. And his point was that because they know, they know cost of construction, cost of building is going up, people inflation i keep saying this when governments are printing money you're going to see cost of real goods going up which is inflation and um you're picking up a one bedroom for under 450 that one bedroom is going to go for 500 550 in 2023 so you've doubled your deposit essentially your deposits 10 percent, 15 percent, and when you come to complete those again are numbers provided and I say this continuously, everything continues status quo. Status quo being demand being at the levels that they are to supply. Okay? And remember, at that time, even though supply may come on more, a developer is not going to build a project if their costs are higher. And if they are, their costs are, well, they will, they will build. But when their costs are high, higher, they will price it into the price of the condo. So you will see prices of condo that are coming up by new developers being at a higher price point than what they're currently uh, promoting their project at right now. So we've got the supply happening here, um, supply issue. What I'm finding is that a lot of my clients that were not able to get into the housing market because, you know, even those homes that are listed for 900 or 850, they still need 100 and 100 or 100 to 150 thousand dollars of work to bring it up to their standard, bring it up to their con like their custom want or uh, you know specific needs. So we're just saying let's just go to a brand new townhouse at a lower price point. There's more supply and uh, see what we can do until we get you guys in or you save up more to get into this housing market um, into a new product. We're seeing home price, I'm seeing, when I say we, I'm sure me and all the other realtors are seeing that homes are over 2 million, There's, they don't move as fast as anything under 2 million. Any home under 2 million is just like boom, 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 moving, 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 moving. So those are the updates on the, the market front. Um, if something's, and I'm, I am seeing that some realtors are pricing pricing the home uh, when I say conservatively they're pricing it low to get lots of people in and get that bidding war and that emotional remember in real estate when you get emotional that's what they want because that's when they can work you I personally don't like getting involved in the emotions I just tell my clients find your limit that's all and you guys who watch this channel know that's my line find your limit play within it and when we go in don't get all emotional now and also I'm the one dealing so once I know their limit I go in and um, we take it from there okay and if needed sometimes I'll negotiate and be like okay I'll cover the additional from my fees and just hook you guys up so I'll take care of the client I'll know the situation to make sure they get what's best for them all right so that's that on that front uh, what else do we need to talk about here? So we talked about the townhouses, the condo market, uh, cost of construction's gone up significantly, uh, inflation's underway, where do I see prices going? Um, I've been saying this for months. Yes, record-breaking spring. Will the record-breaking continue? As supply comes up more, it's going to peak. We're peaking now. It's going to stabilize. I don't see it dropping. Victoria doesn't drop 
because of the demand here. It could very well drop in other places of Canada. It's dropped in Calgary. Um, it can drop in other cold parts. But remember, and I keep saying this, we are the most one of the most desirable parts of BC to move to. We're an island, a beautiful island at that, an Alaska cruise destination. I mean, not that the cruises are coming here anymore, but we are a tourist hub. And honestly, forget about the touristic parts. If you just take your car, which we did when the lockdown happened, and go and see some of these trails and hikes on this island, beautiful. Um, I was telling my husband, you know, I never, I'm always working, but this, you know, during the lockdown, I was like, wow, I am so happy um, I live here, especially if you ever, any of you guys live here in Victoria, go check out Sandcut Beach. That to me was like, I died and went to heaven. It was so beautiful. There was like a waterfall going into the ocean. Beautiful. Uh, Jordan River, those areas, 45 minutes, 45 minutes from where I lived, I could see a waterfall go into the ocean and it was just a spectacular view. And, uh, and lie on the beach all day in summer. It was actually quite warm uh, that day when we went. So, okay, so uh, you, got me, you got me distracted, guys, there with, with the, the beauty of this place because I love trails and I love hikes and I love biking too, by the way. And it kind of hits all those points for me, which is awesome. And, and I do like the fact that there's water activities. If you like to kayak, take, get your kayak, go to the water and just go right? The best things in life are free. And honestly, the best things in life that are free are offered here. The trails, the hikes, the water activities, the tubing down um, out uh, up island, lots of cool things to do. All right. So back to the real estate market. Uh, I've been getting questions about, you know, property transfer tax, vacancy tax, legal fees, legal fees on a normal real estate transaction. Okay. And some people have, you know, um, lawyers that just say, oh, my lawyer that does, does my company, can he do uh, real estate too? Yes. Most realtors have a paralegal and like a legal assistant, and they are trained to know how to do uh, title as well. You can go to a notary as well. Notary tends to be slightly cheaper, but not that much different, I find now, from a lawyer. A lawyer fees are around uh, $1,200, $1,200, 1000 I've seen to 1300 for legal fees, um, and a notary being cheaper than that, so more on the 900 side. Uh, but I could be wrong. I would double check that, but your legal fees, I've, I haven't seen them being over 1500 So, so if your lawyer is saying it's that much, I would call two other lawyers to say how much you charge for conveyancing. Um, and it's good to have an idea of which lawyer you'd like to use when you are purchasing a home. So that's the front. Uh, that's some information on the front of having a lawyer. Uh, we've discussed the market lawyer. I'm trying to see what other questions that I've been getting. Um, it's just been a crazy week, guys. <laughs> okay. If I'm... If I'm sounding a bit tired, um, it's because I've been working every night till 11 o'clock and I just, I just want to make sure that these people, and I, because I care about my clients, I do take it personally. Like I know my poor, my own poor kids were like, mama, we haven't seen you. I was like, I know, sweetie, I love you guys. But I really have to make sure that I take care of these sweet people that trust me with one of their biggest decisions in their life. And help them get in a crazy market what they're looking for and i've managed to do so and i'm so happy and so proud of myself as well because it's not easy um but if there's a will there's a way and we're gonna make that happen for good people um to get them what they want so guys i can keep going on and on but i need questions from you guys i can talk about several topics Um, I need topics from you guys to talk about. Let me know. I mean, today, if there's cost items you want to know about, what do I recommend for inspections? Are inspections necessary? What type of inspections? What are big cost items that come up to you in a building? I mean, there's so much I could cover. And uh, I like to hear from you guys what you need to know so I can help you because that's my goal. Cheers to that. Take care, sweet people. And I love you all.
spreading some love, positive energy in these crazy times. Take care. Bye now.